What's up, friend? Welcome back to my channel. Things might look a little bit different right now. I'm recording on a different camera, so hopefully this goes well. I couldn't figure out the audio situation, but uh, I have high hopes, so this should be exciting. <laughs> but this is the first video that I'm doing in a little series on my channel about top manifestation techniques. These are gonna be all of my favorite ways to manifest and maintain my mental diet. And I'm gonna walk you through each one really, really in depth so that you can manifest your dream life in whichever way works best for you. I mentioned a lot of these really, really high level in my Manifesting 101 video, so if you haven't seen that yet, maybe watch that first before diving into the specifics. This video in particular is going to be all about visualizations. Arguably, I would say one of my favorite, yeah, I think this is my favorite manifestation technique because I don't know about you, but I am a daydreamer. I always have been, I've always had a very active imagination, <laughs> so this just works out really well for me and hopefully it'll work for you too. As per usual, I will have everything time stamped in the description. You can skip around, you can go back, do you. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, definitely do that. Like I said, this is an ongoing series. I'm going to be making a lot more videos like this, so if you want to see them, definitely make sure you're subscribed. Okay, I think we can get into it now. So when it comes to visualizing, I do also just wanna put a disclaimer in here. You do not have to do any specific method or ritual to manifest. All you have to do when it comes down to it to manifest is genuinely believe that you deserve to get what you want and believe that it's already yours. That's pretty much all it takes. But if you are stuck, if you're new, if you're caught in a loop of negative thoughts and you don't know how to manifest, this might help give you some inspiration, some new ideas to try out. And that's kind of the intention behind this. In no way, shape or form am I saying that this is the only way to manifest because manifesting is very, very simple if you think about it. You don't need to do anything specific. This is just a guide to help you along the way. That's it. So what does a visualization entail? This means sitting in your imagination and really painting a mental picture of what your manifestation looks like. If you're trying to manifest a new job, for example, what does your office look like? Are you working from home? What does it smell like? What kind of work are you doing? What's the dress code? What are you wearing? Who else is there? Who's your boss? Who's on your team? Literally every single detail that you can think of, visualize it and really paint that picture. Now visualization is a classic Neville Goddard manifestation method. It's great for maintaining your mental diet. And I get a lot of motivation from my visualizations because they remind me of what I'm working towards. If you can visualize that end, it will give you the strength and motivation to take aligned steps to get there. But on an even deeper level than that, these visualizations activate your subconscious. When you visualize something, you are subconsciously acknowledging that what you're visualizing is a possibility. It's achievable. If you can see it vividly, if you can hear it, if you can smell it, if you can feel it, you can do it. It can exist in the 3D as well. So like I said, I'm a huge daydreamer. I have no problem coming up with scenarios in my head, never have. But if you have trouble kind of building that mental picture, I highly recommend taking the time to get inspiration. So if you wanna be a famous singer like Whitney Houston, watch Whitney Houston's performances. Watch her award acceptance speeches. In particular, I highly recommend watching her speech where she accepts her BET Lifetime Achievement Award because it is absolutely iconic. If you wanna be a successful business person, go on Barbara Corcoran's TikTok. Watch interviews of Oprah or Warren Buffett or Elon Musk or whoever it is that you're kind of drawing that inspiration from and trying to emulate. Once you watch that and get that inspiration, it's gonna be a lot easier to place yourself in those scenarios while you're visualizing. So instead of Whitney Houston accepting that award, it's you. Instead of Oprah being interviewed, it is you. So you can kind of like use those real life examples to help you paint that picture. Now what I highly, highly recommend after you have visualized it in here is actually playing out your visualizations in real life. Now this is a little cringe. I embarrass myself with this one a little bit, but honestly, it freaking works. And frankly, I feel like we all kind of do this sometimes because uh, we're delusional and it comes naturally. I could be just speaking for myself there, <laughs> but I feel like this comes very naturally to a lot of people. A lot of us are talking to ourselves and doing that kind of thing all the time. So 
Hopefully this will be easy. I want you to get in your shower and talk to yourself out loud as if you're being interviewed. Pretend that you're being interviewed about some big achievement that you have accomplished as a result of what you've manifested and answer your interviewer's questions as you would normally. Like your interviewer would probably ask, what was the road that it took you to get here? Answer that out loud. What's it like to be able to do this? Answer that out loud. Grab a mic or a curling iron or a hairbrush or whatever you gotta do and stand in front of your mirror in your room and perform your hit song. You're not in front of a mirror. You're in front of a crowd of thousands of people and you should act like that. Like choreograph whatever dance you wanna do. Make sure that it's your original song that you wrote or if you're trying to like be Tom Sandoval in the most extras or something and do a cover band, like I guess you could sing covers. <laughs> Can you tell I love Tom Sandoval? <laughs> I don't know if anybody else here is a, a Vanderpumper, but it's a lot happening there right now. Anyway, back to the point of the video. Play these things out. Walk into your living room and lay down on your couch that you got off of Facebook Marketplace and pretend it is the Restoration Hardware Cloud Couch. Yeah, this one's from Facebook. Got a bunch of cat scratches on the back. Go to the ATM and withdraw $50,000. I mean, you know, you're not actually withdrawing $50,000. Maybe you're withdrawing $50, but act like you are typing in 50000. I know that ATMs have a credit limit, okay? We're just we're just doing the visualization here. We're just doing the visualization. It's okay. Pull out the cash from the ATM, hold those $10 bills or $20 bills in your hand and visualize holding hundreds. And really get into it. Don't hold back. Feel it. If you're pretending to be interviewed, talk like you actually would in an interview. If you are pretending to perform your song, perform it with all of your heart as if your wildest dreams have come true and all of your fans are surrounding you and just wanna hear you bring it. If you're accepting an award, thank the people that you would thank in your speech. I'm telling you right now, once you start playing out your visualizations, if you couldn't see it before, you will see it then. And frankly, like, you're only preparing yourself for the inevitable by practicing this interview that's going to happen eventually. At least you got your answers worked out now, you know? So highly, highly recommend taking your visualizations out of your head and into real life whenever you can. Now I want you to take this a step even further because manifesting without taking intentional aligned action is what? Wishing, and wishing is great. Trusting in the universe is great, but we wanna take control of our own lives here. Take intentional steps to close that gap between your reality right now and the future that you want for yourself. Be for real, be concrete. Put yourself into alignment. What are the steps that I need to take to get me from A to B? How do I turn that interview that I pretended I was doing in the shower into a real life interview? What's my strategy there? These are the questions that you wanna be asking yourself. So I'm gonna give you a really well thought out example. This is not real, but like, just to really paint a picture for you of what it means to take that aligned action. I wanna be interviewed on a very specific, big podcast about my journey as a blogger, okay? I visualized it. I pretended that I was on the podcast in the shower. I, I'm being interviewed on my morning commute in the car every morning. I'm sitting in traffic like, wow, that's such a great question, Alex Cooper. Thank you so much for asking me that. Well, so if I'm blogging, the first thing that I would need to do is to increase my audience size so that my blog is getting more attention because the only way that you're ever gonna be interviewed on this huge podcast is if they know you exist. Okay, so that's step one. So I'm gonna research Pinterest SEO. I'm gonna make a TikTok account and start creating videos that drive traffic to my website. I'm gonna make sure that my posts are going up consistently and often and that I'm answering questions that my target audience has. And once I grow to a certain level, I'm gonna start pitching myself to smaller podcasts. Once I start getting on the smaller podcasts, I'm gonna use those opportunities to grow my audience even more, and then I'm gonna start pitching myself to medium-sized podcasts and publications. And then finally, I grow exponentially to the point where I get the attention of the big podcast person, or I'm able to pitch myself and I can show them, look, here is my current audience on my blog, here's what they're interested in, it's really aligned with the stuff that you talk about on your podcast, Here's an example of past podcasts that I've been on that I've done really, really well that my audience has loved, that the podcast host audience has, lo has loved. What do you say? You know, this is not necessarily a get it quick kind of thing. Very few things in life are get it quick. 
And you can see in that example, I'm not even focused on the timing. I don't care how long it takes. I know that it's gonna happen eventually if I set myself up for success. So who cares? I'm just focusing on the process. I'm living in the journey. I'm living in that end. And I'm taking the aligned action to get to where I want to be. I'm doing the things that my future self, who has a successful blog, would be doing. Because it's gonna take acting like I already have a huge blog and making my audience happen and growing and growing and reaching and reaching to get on that podcast that I'm trying to manifest. You know what I'm saying? I don't know exactly how or when it's gonna shake out, but I know that it's gonna happen eventually, so I'm just on that path. So in short, see it in here, play it out. If you have trouble with those visualizations, get inspiration, and then take the aligned action to bring you to your goal. And I'm telling you right now, your manifestations are going to completely change and pop off. If you can see it, if you can really visualize it, it is real. So follow that path, follow that line of thinking. If I can see it, if I can dream it, I can make this shit happen. Anything is possible, you guys. Anything can happen, anything can change. It's never too late. I highly, highly recommend this method because it just really puts things into a great perspective for you and sets you up for success because you can see your own future. It's kind of cool if you really think about it. Anyway, I hope that this helps. I hope that this gets you started on your manifestation journey. Like I said, this is part of a larger series, so definitely make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on my future top manifestation technique videos. Comment down below and let me know what you think. I will see you in my video next week.